And that takes us to the comments about my face. Yes, this beautiful face. There are some people who have complaints about it. <laughs> there have been a lot of comments about my wife wearing a bra in my mom's presence. People claim to be feminists until they don't agree with what a woman chooses to do to her own body. Hi sweeties, welcome back to the channel. Today I am gonna be reacting to hate comments. We have a huge variety of hate comments here on this channel. There are people who criticize my body and my face because of cosmetic procedures. There are people who criticize my age gap relationship, my life choices, my nakedness, my mom. That's a step too far. No, seriously though, comments about my mom aside, it doesn't actually bother me anymore. It used to, but it doesn't bother me anymore because I've learned that it comes with the territory. If you're gonna work with social media, you're gonna get some shit. And uh, at this point, my skin is so thick that it doesn't even touch me anymore <laughs> because I just know that you can't possibly please everybody. And if you do please everybody, you're just boring. I'd rather be polarizing than boring. So cheers, queers. Let's read some hate comments. But before we do that, please subscribe and activate the notifications so you know when I post new videos. Follow me on Instagram or TikTok if you would like to see daily vlogs of what I get up to in my life. And give us a thumbs up because it really helps the channel. Oh, by the way, look at my nails. Oh, yes. Oh my god, and I have news for you. I have a new music video coming out on Friday, November 3rd. It is a music video for my song Therapy. Now, if you're a fan of my music, you already know this song, and that's because I released this song with my album Wild during the pandemic, and I never got a chance to film a music video for it because of the pandemic, but it's one of my favorite songs, and I think it's one of y'all's favorite songs of mine too, because it did quite well on Spotify, so I thought you know what? Who cares that it was released two years ago? I'm gonna put out a music video. So a few months ago I went to Atlanta and I filmed a music video there with my friends Brittany and Joan from Draco Films and that's gonna be coming out on Friday. So stay tuned and activate the notifications. I cannot wait for you to see this because it, it's so different from my previous music videos. Well, it's also very gay. It is a lesbian romance story but in a completely different way. It's very much focused like on the storyline and it's very very different from everything else so I cannot wait for you to see it. Today's water of the day. <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm still secretly obsessed with water talk so I'm drinking water with zero calorie French vanilla syrup and it's so delicious. It's like drinking a cake. Oh my god so I'm gonna start with the comments from this really innocent short I posted on YouTube. It was basically just me walking around wearing a turquoise suit, but instead of wearing a shirt underneath, I was wearing like pasties. So like my boobs were covered. I had glitter stickers on them. You couldn't see anything, just an outline of a boob. But apparently that was enough to annoy some triggered men and Karens out there. <laughs> there were a lot of people who were concerned for the children, apparently. This person said, inappropriate for children. This one, that's the best one, said, please wear a shirt. Just think of the children. <laughs> and there were lots of comments like this, people saying, think of the children. And first, in my opinion, that's not inappropriate because men go out topless all the time and nobody says anything. Why is it that men's nipples are appropriate for everybody to see and women's nipples aren't? I don't understand. But either way, my nipples were covered. And whether it's sexual or not, if you have kids, it was your choice and it is your responsibility to parent that kid and to control what they watch or don't watch online. I did not make a choice to have a kid. <laughs> you know, I don't have to parent your kid for you. If you think my content is inappropriate for your kid, don't let them watch it. <laughs> There's YouTube kids for that. I cannot take responsibility for everybody's kids. My content is not made 
for kids. When you post content on YouTube, they even have a box that you have to tick if your content is made for kids. And I never once in my life clicked on that because my comment is not aimed at kids. So what, you want people not to make movies that are not for kids anymore instead of parents just controlling what they allow their kids to watch? What? How am I, a childless woman, responsible for educating your kid? I love this comment from a subscriber. They said, <laughs> oh no, I can see the outline of boobs. How will anyone recover from this? Thank you. That's exactly how I feel about this. Oh no, outline of boobs. Save the children. <laughs> Trust me, there are a lot more serious things you should be protecting your kids from. Oh my god, moving on. <laughs> This is actually hilarious. Oh my god, my poor wife. There have been a lot of comments about my wife wearing a bra in my mom's presence. It was in the last video I <laughs> posted there was a vlog of my mom coming to London to visit us and people were a bit outraged that apparently my wife was wearing a bra in front of my mom. What was the purpose of that? And <laughs> Although I will never agree with the policing of women's bodies. I think if you want to wear a bra, go for it. Like, leave people alone to wear whatever they want to wear. Like, why are you obsessed with what people wear? But I do understand the confusion. Because it was a bit odd. Because y'all didn't know the context. <laughs> there was a context, so I will explain the context. But it is hilarious. <laughs> this person said, the wearing of a bra is really strange. And that had 48 likes. And the other one that had 92 likes is, why is Aileen wearing just a bra sitting next to your mom? <laughs> and then this one was actually quite mean. It said, I bet your mother was sickened sitting by Aileen's half-covered body. Ask her! Exclamation, exclamation, exclamation. I bet your mom can't wait to see an end. <laughs> Jesus! That's, a, that's very strong, just because Aileen wore a bra. Well, what happened was that we were filming quite a few videos on the same day and uh, usually when I film more than one video on the same day I change clothes so it's like fresh you know so it looks like a different day <laughs> and we were actually filming a video that wasn't for my channel that it was for the rating show on 49's channel and uh, Eileen was getting changed, like in the living room where we were filming, and my mom was there. I don't know what your families are like, but my family were very chill about like changing a top in front of each other. Like, uh, I'm, I'm so chill about that, I don't care. And it's, especially if you're wearing a bra underneath, like, I'll change in front of anyone. And Eileen didn't know what to wear for this video, and as she was getting changed, I saw her bra, and I was like, oh, this bra looked like a crop top. Maybe you could just wear it as a crop top. And she was like, oh yeah, yeah, I think it looks cute. And then that's what she wore. But turns out, maybe it didn't look like a crop top because everybody noticed it was a bra. <laughs> Poor Eileen. And then <laughs> we laughed so much about it after because she was like, you did me dirty. You told me it looked like a crop top. I mean, I've been caught wearing bras on the internet countless times because I think often they look like tops but maybe that's just me being cray cray because maybe everybody else just knows it's a bra but who cares it's a bra get over it but yeah so then we filmed that video that's not even for my channel of her wearing that and uh, that was that but my mom <laughs> my mom is so like not bothered at all about things like that like She's my mom. How do you think I came out like this? She's my mom. <laughs> there were also some other comments about my mom saying that like she was awkward in the videos or she looked upset. And that's, people often say that when I film videos with my mom. So like this person said, I hope I'm wrong, but I feel a sadness in her mom's eyes. I just don't know why, but I always feel this when Julia makes videos with her mom. This other person said, your lovely mom has so much pain in her eyes. I understand why she's so worried about your, about you, dear Julia. Please leave Eileen behind and protect yourself. Well, so basically, like, when I was really going through stuff with my depression and uh, trying to unalive and then ending up in hospital, obviously, then my mom was really worried and uh, really, really sad, obviously. What mother wouldn't be? But I didn't film any videos with my mom around that time. I think why people think she looks sad or uncomfortable in the videos is because she is 
painfully, painfully shy. She is the shyest person I know and because of that she gets a bit camera shy and then she like doesn't talk much and also like she understands most uh, pretty much everything in English but she's at that phase of learning a language when you understand but you don't really speak it so she might understand what we're saying but she doesn't really want to answer because she gets a bit embarrassed of speaking a different language and that plus being camera shy so she's sometimes like you know, not saying much and stuff, but it's not because like she's unhappy with what I'm doing or because she doesn't want to be filmed and I'm forcing her or anything like that. She's just very shy. My mom, oh my God, I miss her so much. I love my mom so much, she's the best. Oh my God, and that takes us to the comments about my face. Yes, this beautiful face. There are some people who have complaints about it. <laughs> so my face got a bit of hate because I posted a reel of me getting Botox and fillers, which I always do. I've been getting fillers since I think I was like 24, I'm 29 now. It's not a new thing that I just started doing now. But I posted that reel and then also when I filmed the vlog of my mom visiting, it was a couple of days after I had the fillers done and uh, if you ever got fillers before you know that it takes a couple of weeks for it to settle and look normal like it gets a bit swollen at first and you get bruises and it doesn't look good straight away well some people prefer that look actually because like your lips look bigger and stuff straight away when you do it I personally prefer it when it settles for myself but some people were really worried <laughs> well some people were worried and some people just hated it so this person said why you destroy your lips crying emoji what happened to your cheekbones <laughs> oh you had such a natural beauty you're slowly destroying it saddens me <laughs> it's funny how people claim to be feminists until they don't agree with what a woman chooses to do to her own body why would it bother you i'm not injecting your face am i i'm injecting my own let me be let me be happy if i like doing that to myself let me be i think a lot of people didn't realize i was just swollen and they thought i was gonna permanently look like that or maybe people think i look crazy now that i'm not swollen i personally like it but maybe you don't and that's okay but it's my face it's not yours why do you have to comment on someone's face and even what if uh, you know they did a botched job and I was unhappy are you gonna comment on someone's face to try to make them feel worse what's wrong with you where are your manners and it's also funny how people think I used to be natural I've been getting fillers for so long and also like I posted a um, throwback video of my music video twisted which is from quite a few years ago and someone commented miss this the natural you crying face and it's a video of me with pink hair <laughs> and white contact lenses on like i've never been a natural girl i've always liked outrageous things i've always liked dyeing my hair and body modification and all the stuff like you wouldn't call me natural right like and that's okay like that's my my body my choice and people are like oh you're giving in to society's pressures to get cosmetic procedures have you met me <laughs> do you know anything about like my life choices my fashion choices if you do you know that that couldn't be further from the truth usually i do things that most people wouldn't do when it comes to that stuff and even this botox stuff you get so much more hate than praise for getting procedures like that and talking about it i do it because i like it get over it like women are free to do what they want with their bodies whether you like it or not like if i want to grow my armpit hair because it makes me feel happy i'm gonna do it and it's none of your business and that's the same for this kind of thing if i want to dye my hair if i want to get fillers it's my body my choice it's not yours like if you think it's ugly as hell just don't do it to your own body ah oh, i am a proud feminist and because of that i believe that women should have autonomy to decide what they want to do with their lives their reproductive system and their bodies in general whether that's growing your body hair or being whatever body shape you want to be 
but that also goes for other things on the other side like I think it's so obvious but it seems like if women don't agree with your particular aesthetic and opinions then you throw feminism out of the window and oh ugly <laughs> you know all right so this is gonna be it for today make sure you subscribe so you can watch my new music video therapy next friday i cannot wait for you to see this thank you so much for watching and have a very very lovely day Mwah.